is Friday, March 31st, 2023. I'm Chris Remo, and welcome back to the New York Times Crossword Daily Solve. It is a Friday puzzle today, which means the first of two themeless puzzles for the week. So perhaps a crossword full of puns and misdirections. Who knows? That's often what happens on a Friday, but we'll just have to wait and find out. In any case, this themeless edition of the Daily Solve has been brought to us by Victoria Rajishka, Kathleen Quinn, Cortidia File, and, as always, the invaluable Timothy Mark and the indomitable Shoalmaster. So thank you so much to the five of them for their generous contributions at, to sustaining this channel. I very much appreciate that. And if you'd like to become a contributor as well, help keep this channel going, you can head over to patreon.com slash daily solve or click the link in the description field underneath the video. And I've just realized I don't think I've done the monthly puzzle for the monthly bonus puzzle for March. So I've got my work cut out for me today because I think I'm going to do all of the missing mini puzzles in one big run. So a big mini puzzle speed run covering the last two or three weeks, however long it's been. Uh, and then the monthly bonus puzzle as well. And we'll see what else I have time for. In any case, look forward to some more bonus puzzles very soon on the, on the Patreon channel. And thank you to everybody who is a patron. If you'd like to become one, you can head to patron, patreon.com slash daily solve or click the link in the description field and become a benefactor to get the Let's Check the Crosses mug or a patron at any level to get all those bonus videos. And uh, again, thank you to all my patrons. Uh, do also subscribe to the YouTube channel if you've not yet done so. And you can join the Daily Solve Discord chat server in a link in the description field underneath the video. All right, so let's get on to today's puzzle. This is a themeless crossword by a veteran constructor, Rich Norris, who's constructed an astonishing, I think, 187 puzzles for the New York Times crossword. So extraordinarily experienced and apparently the editor of the, uh, or long time edit anyway, editor of the LA Times crossword as well. Um, all right, so let's get on to the puzzle. Let's start solving. Uh, did I say it was edited as always by Will Shorts? I can't, I, I may have just said that and I can't remember. In any case, it was. Let's start solving. Uh, something, look, uh, look at these, lots of, lots of long, open uh, runs of answers here. Anyway, something to help you see where you're going. A headlight, maybe? Let's check the crosses on that and see if it's actually correct. No first stringer. Uh, it ends near Venice. This isn't looking very likely. Some consequences for defaulting. I don't know if I'm confident in that. Sister brand of Mazzola. I'm not sure offhand. Is that an oil or something? I actually don't know what that is. Classic cars that rival the Ford Maverick and Plymouth Duster. And attention-getting cry. Hay or hark? I don't know. <laughs> Probably not. Look, maybe, look at me. Bag of tricks. And quite a blast, question mark. With that question mark in the pun, it could be something like TNT or an explosive, but I'm not sure. Slightly leading. If you're ahead or you're up one, maybe? Up one would be better than ahead because ahead could be any amount, whereas up one would be would be indeed slightly leading. Blank square, rhyming attraction in the city center of Galway, Ireland. Rhymes with square, I suppose. Air? Poetic name for Ireland? Is there any chance that's right? Poetic is probably the wrong... Uh, distinction there, but um, no first stringer. A scrub. Right. Okay. That works. Okay. Well, this is certainly not headlight. Something to help you see where you're going. A spotlight? No. Oh, classic cars could be Chevy something. I don't know what, what exactly it's going to be. Made fair. Oh, you evened, made something fair. You evened it up. And some consequences for defaulting. Oh, repos, repossessions. If you defaulted on your mortgage, your home mortgage, for instance. Okay. Oh, street lamp? No. Um, it ends near Venice. Oh, the po. 
The Po River. There we go. That, that uh, tricky the in there to throw me off. So here we have Bose-Einstein con condensate condensate, the so-called fifth state of matter. That's interesting. I've probably seen that phrase somewhere, but I certainly would have been able to, wouldn't have been able to pull it out of my hat. Um, so something to help you see where you're going. A, oh, street map, maybe. Right. I was so focused on lighting, but that was not correct. Boomer for short. Oh, maybe this is TNT. That's funny. <laughs> Considering putting TNT in the puzzle somewhere else, but TNT is something that goes boom. Often boomer for short, this kind of thing, which obviously is a punny reference to baby boomers, but in fact it is not referencing them in the answer. Often boomer can refer to an SST, a supersonic transport, I guess, a, a um, supersonic airplane because it creates a sonic boom. But not in this case. Um, all right, climate could be mode or a mean, maybe even. That doesn't really work. Footwear brand Avia. That's a footwear brand, right? Oh, Chevy Novas. That's a brand. That's a sort of car model I've sort of vaguely heard of. Um, climate mood. Ah, right, okay. Sort of similar to mean, but makes more sense in this context. And a bag of twigs is a repertoire. Pull it out of your repertoire, your bag of tricks, the sort of things you have at your disposal. Skills, maybe. Blended numbers. Blended numbers. Partial something? I don't think that works. Fodder for some miners. And company for a king or a queen. I don't know. A seven is another card. <laughs> King and queen are obviously car playing cards, but that doesn't seem correct at all. Okay, well, let's look somewhere else and see if we can eventually get some communication up into that area. Current event. A tide, maybe? Current in the ocean? Camus' birthplace. Oh, um, Albert Camus, who wrote The Stranger, which I... I was reading in French recently, and then eventually, I eventually petered out. I need to go back to that. But he was born in Algeria, or maybe Algiers, Algeria, specifically. I actually don't know. I'm pretty sure he was born in Algeria. Um, does that help, those first two, at least? Quite a blast. Oh, a blast of wind, a gust, or a gale? Don't know which of those it would be. A, a, no, there are no common letters after the G. Attention getting cry. Oh, maybe it is look. And then sister brand of Missoula. I just do not know what this is. I could be making up that it's an oil. Not making up, but misremembering. Grand, or just maybe I am making it up because maybe I don't know that word at all. <laughs> Honestly, I'm not sure. Prosperous period, a golden age. There we go. That is clear. You got it. Okay, something. Oh, I, I just don't know what this is. Oh, but but Golden Age confirms quite a blast as a gale, not a gust. That's good. Oh, you got it. Okie dokie. That okay E is very specific because that's not really going to end up with anything else. Current event. Oh. Can okie dokie be spelled like this? If this were tied, no, this couldn't be tied anyway, because that doesn't, that fits neither Gale nor, or sorry, Algeria nor Algiers. So current event is going to have an E here or an I. An eddy, right, like a little whirlpool in water. Okay. Grand Prix competitor, a road to something, Argo? Oh, Argo, that's some sort of brand. It's either, boy, I don't know. It's either a cleaning supply or a fertilizer or something. I, I'm, I'm sure I've seen it before, but I'm not sure exactly what it is. Grand Prix competitor road rally. That will be blank the set of sun. Oh, maybe not golden age, but golden era. That will be Or 
eye the set of stuff? That doesn't look right. Light line. Array. Okay, I, th I guess okie dokie is incorrect. That's sort of surprising. So, oh, it's spelled differently. It's spelled like this, I guess. That must be right. Okay, I wanted this to be, that will be air the set of the sun. That will be before, before the set of the sun. But I wasn't willing to rethink this for some reason. But in any case, it is spelled this in this manner. This kind of casual thing can be confusing in that regard or difficult to pin down because you could imagine it plausibly being spelled more than one way. In any case, a Grand Prix competitor, ah, it's not icy. It's not a competing race to a Grand Prix. It's someone who competes in a Grand Prix, a road racer. I probably should have gotten that earlier. In any case, diacritic over the R in Dvorak. Um, oh, I don't know. What is that called? Actually, not sure. Dvorak being a Czech name, of course. Um, don't know. Was hard to understand in a way. Stammered or something could could be someone could be hard to understand in a way, but I don't think that's right because it doesn't fit. So in fact, I know it's not right. Plastic keys? Question mark. Something piano? I can't. So what is going on here? Oh, iconic twenty eight across player. Oh right. So this is something that could fit into the phrase iconic blank player. So maybe it is piano. Iconic piano player. That would be a valid clue. Iconic, I don't know, what is that? Toy piano? No, oh, maybe it is toy piano actually. Was there a comedian or something who played toy piano perhaps? Or, or, or maybe, I don't know, maybe a musician, I don't know. Oh, in any case, piano makes this Algeria. So that's good, there we go. And company for a king or queen and was hard to understand. Oh, slurred. I was on the right track with stammered, but a different sort of speech pattern. So slurred is, was hard to understand in a way, if you slurred your words. And then company for a king or queen, very clever clue. And there was no question mark, as there would be if this clue occurred on an earlier day, probably. But it's Sealy, which is a mattress company. In other words, a company for a king mattress or a queen mattress. Very clever. And then fodder for some miners is data, as in data mining. I was, of course, thinking of mining for metal ore or something like that. All right. Blended numbers are part songs. I'm thinking of numbers as in a song, do a number, do a song, but I don't know what that would mean exactly. Confirm is to uphold maybe the, the ruling of a court. So is this Hasek or Hacek, I guess, diacritic over the R in Dvorak. I didn't know that word. I hope that's correct. Wouldn't release. Held to or something, something ending with two probably. Part, yes, part of XXX. This represents a, um, a winning row or diagonal in tic-tac-toe or column in the game of tic-tac-toe or knots and crosses. And US Health Organization could be CDC for the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. And then Harvard or Cambridge grad is what? I'm not sure. I mean, these are two different countries. So what what share do they share? I'm not sure. Oh, that's annoying that I can't just see that. Twine fiber, uh, sisal? That's a sort of fiber. I don't know if that's what we're looking for here. Well, blended numbers ending in S as a plural is plausible, so maybe I'll leave that. Wouldn't release spicy in a way. I don't know, zesty or tangy. I don't, I'm not very not thrilled about those. African capital on its own golf. Uh, golf of... Oh, that's annoying. This is another thing that's annoying that I can't just get. France's Blanc de Loire. Eau de Loire? Water? No, that's not going to be it. Where an eye test may be given in brief. Oh, and this is a U.S. clue. The DMV, the Department of Motor Vehicles, which is what, at least in most, but not all states, call the sort of driving license registry. Uh, so you might take an eye test there. Joel, who once played Wyatt Earp in film. Oh, I do not know. I don't think I'm going to know this. 
Oh, Val de Loire. Val de Loire. There, there are quite a few Val de Blanc locations in France. So that is probably the answer there. And then wouldn't release clung to. There we go. Oh, I think when I was looking at this earlier, I didn't appreciate the past tense nature of this. I think I said thing like things like holds to, but it would, would have been held to if that case. Anyway, so this is part songs. Is that, oh, I'm annoyed that I don't know what that is. I think the rest of these crosses are correct. Part songs. Does that just mean songs sung in parts with har harmony? I don't know what that means. Oh, I'm sorry about that. Uh, oh, Tunis, African capital on its own Gulf. Gulf of Tunis. Okay, that, that must be right. And spicy in a way. Oh, Cajun. Cajun cuisine um, is often heavily spiced. And then Joel... I still don't think I know that. Come on, tell us. Just spill, maybe? Just spill. Come on, tell us. Anyway, this was sizal as I suspected it would be, the twine fiber. And plagues... Could be a verb or a noun. Could be a, a noun in the sense of an epidemic or something, as we all know, but it also could be plagues as in sort of dogs, you, you know, it plagues you, it consumes you, it, uh, something like that. But I'm not sure, what, I can't think what it is offhand. Uh, okay, what? let's see, what can I get? Lead into card or credit. I don't know. I'm not seeing it. Apple blank. Apple pie? I don't know. That's very simple, but could be the answer. Products touted in some email scams. Uh, what are people? What do people sell in email scams? I don't know. Antivirus software, maybe, or uh, I, I, there are probably so many options. I can't. <laughs> unable to actually think of any. Sometimes how it goes. Heavens, skies. No, that doesn't look plausible. Uh, plagues, big wheels. Its first scene is set near Memphis. Is it the play Aida? Oh, sorry, the opera Aida, I suspect. Set in Egypt. Harvard or Cambridge grad is what? I just don't know if that is, what that is. Laughable could be inane, maybe? And classical music label, uh, label whose name consists entirely of musical notes. So that's a funny observation. Decca would be the answer there. And New York blank, purple bloom. Aster, maybe? That's a flower. Laura of ER. Not sure. I don't think I've ever actually seen a single episode of ER. I think I remember when it was actually first released. I think I sort of remember the television ads for it. Something that good speakers make with audiences. What do good a rapport? They make a an impact of some sort. Not sure if that's right. Show first performed during 1994's Eurovision Song Contest. Is it something dance? Um, not sure. I don't know if this is right. Memorial Day weekend event. Familiar, familiarly. Um, what would one do on Memorial Day? It was a barbecue or something. I'm not sure. I don't know. I'm not sure if any of this is right. Airport at one end of Kennedy Expressway. Is it? <laughs> what actually is it? I don't actually think it's JFK Airport. And in fact, I think chances are that wouldn't be allowed in the puzzle anyway. I hadn't thought of this, but because JFK stands for John F. Kennedy International Airport, I think you actually wouldn't put it in because part of the answer is actually in the crew, in the clue. I don't know. I don't know what airport this is. Sweet, lovable sort. A deer? A something deer? I am, this Harvard or Cambridge grad is driving me absolutely bananas. I really want to know what it actually is. Um, getting around easily. Spry, maybe? You're mobile? You're... Spry was in the puzzle just yesterday or the day before, I think. Row house. Or row house, if it's about arguments. 
iconic toy piano player. It was toy piano. I never really looked back at that. No longer able to get out. You're in a trap. No longer able. Why would it? What makes the no longer important? Back in a trap? No longer able to get up. Retrapped? As opposed to just unable to get out is what I'm thinking about. Why, why is no longer important? Something to think about. An idea. I don't know if trap is correct. Some area illumination for short. Spotlights or something. Does an ESCO here? I don't know. Um, I was thinking pigsty, but that doesn't, doesn't really make sense. And it's not long enough anyway. Sediment silt, maybe? Uh, product? No. Don't think so. Oh boy, all right. I've got to figure out how to get through this crossword. How do I do that? Uh, here's a short end. Oh no, this was that airport thing. Um, Harvard or Cambridge grad? Harvard or Cambridge grad? Is there some meaning of this that is just totally escaping me? Probably. Laura of ER. I haven't a clue. Laura Hines, Laura Haynes, Laura Eines. Sweet, lovable sort. Oh boy, this is this is tough. Is there anything I've not yet? Oh, senator in brief, politician or oh, I think that's also the name of a sports team, a something er, you know, like an NBA or or NFL or or NHL or NHL maybe. I'm not sure. Probably starts with N. Plagues, torments. There we go. And name, oh, here's an easy clue I didn't look at. Name hidden in call and audible. It must be Lana, which is the only name that spans all of these words. Okay, great. So this probably, oh no, never mind. That could still be multiple things. I bet it's NHL, National Hockey League. That's my suspicion. Come on, tell us. Just say it. Oh, well, some of these were much easier. Why didn't I look at more of these earlier? I guess that helped with getting Lana, which I should have looked at ages ago. Something that good speakers make with audiences, eye contact. There we go. And actress Campbell, Nev Campbell, who I do recognize. Crushed is achy, maybe? You're feeling crushed? You're... Is that right? Oh, River Dance. <laughs> oh, that must have been Ireland's entry in Eurovision 1994. That's funny. I did not know that fact, I don't believe. Crushed. Oh, crushed a test. You aced it. There we go. And sweet, lovable sword. Oh, a teddy bear. Oh, it wasn't dear at all. Oh, is this Cantab? That sort of sounds familiar, but I couldn't tell you exactly what it means. Memorial Day weekend event familiar. I guess Indy. Is it the Indianapolis 500 or something? That I guess that takes place on Memorial Day weekend. Laura Eines? Boy, I hope that's right. You must remember this solve is, this is a tough solve. Harvard or Cambridge grad, grad Cantab, and Laura Hines of ER. Wow. Okay. Well, remember that that's the problem area if I don't validate the puzzle. Senator E.G. in brief. I, I really think this is NHL, but I can't, I don't actually know. Um, big wheels. Could refer to obviously a big truck or literal wheels or wheels of cheese. I don't know. Something to think about. Right, it could be an idea or almost anything else, really. Okay, is there anything I've not yet looked at that could be... I just don't, this just doesn't seem familiar to me. No longer able to get out. Iconic toy piano player. Row house or row house. And senator in brief. Oh boy. If this were NHL or big wheels. Oh 
Boy, I wish I could see that. Row house or row house. I do not know. Oh, this is very difficult. Okay, I'm going to say something to think about as an idea because it's what I keep thinking this is going to be. And some area illumination, some arena, sorry, did I keep saying area before? I think I did. Some arena illumination for short. Some sort of lights that light up an arena. LEDs, why would, why would that be the case? Well, no, I actually have no idea if that's right. Oh, but if this is an S, this kind of looks like embassy row house. Why? Why is an embassy a row house? I have no idea what that's referring to. It's obviously a pun of some sort, but I don't know. I don't understand it. Oh, that's annoying. But I think it must be the answer. Sediment. Lees, the sediment in wine, or the sort of byproduct in wine. I actually don't know if this is byproduct of wine. I don't know if this is right, actually. But I think lees would qualify as a kind of sediment. Product touted in some emails. Scams. And no longer able to get out. Oh, in too deep. Right. That's why it's no longer able to get out, because you've gone too far into the situation. Okay, lead into card or credit. Miscredit, miscard, or disc discard, discredit. There we go. That's it. Wish I would have thought of that immediately, but I didn't. Product touted, products touted in some email scams are an iconic toy piano player. I don't, I'm probably not going to know this. Heavens. The ether, the heavens, the ether, and then Joel Mc... McCree, I guess. I don't recognize that name, unfortunately. Big wheels. Could this be an H? Oh, I don't know. It doesn't look great, does it? Maybe this isn't McCree. NBA? Or NB... No, NBL isn't anything. NFL? It doesn't look any better. Big wheels. Oh, why can I not see that? An iconic toy piano player is... Oh, Schroeder from Peanuts, the comic strip character ah, who plays a little toy piano. I guess in my head, I didn't really think of that as being a toy piano. I just sort of weirdly thought of it as being a kind of very small, regular piano with artistic license because it was a cartoon. But yes, no, I guess it is a toy piano. Oh, that is so annoying that I couldn't think of that. Apple Incorporated, I guess, the, the name of the company, I guess, I suppose. And diet pills must be touted in some email scams. Okay, fair enough. I assume that's true. Oh, poobahs, big wheels, poobahs. Is that like sort of big cheese, big kind of, maybe that's a Maybe those two expressions have a similar derivation. Uh, and then Joel McCray and NHLers or NHLer? No. Ah, oh, boy, that's frustrating. So is this not Cantab then? It is what? I don't know. Maybe I'll just take a look for possible mistakes. Let's see. Sorry about this. <laughs> if this goes on too long, I'll edit it down. Oh. This is sizal, the fiber. Sorry. Why did I put an I there? There it is. All right. Yep. Oh, boy. That was a tough puzzle for me. I found that difficult. <laughs> Let me know how you fared with this one. Yeah, a very tricky Friday puzzle full of misdirection. And, well, misdirection and just maybe less so, less so much that and more just sort of very clipped, cryptic or... Uh, ambiguous clues, lots of one word uh, clues, things that could be other things, and then a fair number of punny clues as well. I still don't quite understand row house for embassy. Is, th is there a sort of embassy row? 
there must be in, I don't know, in Washington, D.C. or something, there must be a kind of embassy row. That must be what that refers to. Um, not all cities actually, you know, that's not true of all cities, of all um, capital cities, I mean. Um, but I bet that's the answer. And then some of these I just had to sort of hope for the best, like NHL or, and I suppose Cantab, which I feel as though I have seen that word before, but I couldn't, I couldn't really explain it to you. And I certainly not something that's part of my vocabulary. Um, anyway, boy, tough puzzle from a, from a veteran constructor. So we were going up against a formidable opponent today and let me know how you managed with this puzzle. And, uh, I, I mean, it was a good one. I think, although I would, as is often the case with me, these very specific sort of crosses relying on particular bits of cultural knowledge. I'm never crazy about uh, but yeah, in general, I think a very enjoyable puzzle gave me quite a, quite a workout. And now let's discuss a few clues from yesterday's puzzle, which I did uh, make time for today and set aside just a few. So let's look at those. Um, Megan's story clarifies that indeed SOS and Brillo are two different brands of steel wool soap pads. So there we go. So I was sort of on the right track by thinking about them together, but they are, but it was wrong to consider them the same or suspect they were the same. And Chasmart Designs explains that the cusp of an astrological sign is the period of days when one sign changes over to the next. People are known to be born on the cusp of a specific sign. Makes perfect sense. Uh, ben Messer <laughs> suggests rage rooms are really fun. I'm not actually sure. I have yet to try it, but it sure seems fun. You've never wanted to just smash an old TV with a baseball bat or something? Um, I don't know. I think my reaction to it was more bemusement than criticism necessarily. I was not, uh, wasn't aware. <laughs> don't think I was aware of the concept. And so I was taken by surprise somewhat. And finally, Craig Horleman um, points out, of course, the actress's name is actually Rooney Mara, not Mara Rooney. Whoops. So yes, I just completely misremembered that. Apologies to her. And there we go. That was the crossword for March 31st and the video for March 31st as well. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. I'll be back tomorrow for a Saturday puzzle, which I hope is not too much more difficult than this one, because that, as I said, did give me uh, quite a workout. So we'll be, we'll, we'll be back tomorrow one way or the other, though, for that puzzle, regardless, regardless of its difficulty. And I hope you join me. But until then, please do have an excellent remainder of your Friday. Take care.